Suan travels from the south to Castries and from Castries to Groselay on particular days. But she will be one of many passengers who will ride for free on June 27th, recognized as International MSME Day, if they are seated on any of the branded Love St. Lucia campaign buses, which can be picked up on the routes of Groselay, Viewfort, the Mon, and a taxi in Sufre. Suan and another passenger had this to say. Once in a while, you need to get treated at least. You know, sometimes maybe you just needed to save some dollars for that day. And you know, it comes in handy. Sometimes you can get to use that money to do something else. But I think it's a great initiative and it's a way to give back to the community. The government of St. Lucia is on a mission and the Ministry of Commerce will continue to support the growth and development of MSMEs. The United Nations says MSMEs hold the potential to transform economies, foster job creation, and promote equitable economic growth if given adequate support. The theme for MSME Day 2024 is leveraging the power and resilience of micro, small, and medium-sized enterprises to accelerate sustainable development and eradicate poverty in times of multiple crises. This is a very relevant theme to us in St. Lucia, as our MSMEs represent 90% of our enterprises. Um, in terms of employment, 60 to 70% of our employment is through our MSMEs, and their contribution to the GDP is estimated at about 50%. So in St. Lucia, we often refer to our MSMEs as the backbone of our economy. We travel to La in Castries to find Natasha Bascom, entrepreneur and recipient of the MSME Loan Grant Initiative. Why did you decide to go into CPOPs? Well, it was actually it was my daughter's idea. She learned economic dancing um, at school and then she came with the idea and she said, Mommy, let us try to, you know, open a business with that. She said, good. when she had it after when she was going to school, she should sell it at the school. But at that time, we had only two flavors. We had only cherries and cookies and cream. So as we were growing gradually with the cheesecake, like customers of ours were asking for other flavors, mm -hmm. which they would like to try. And, you know, so we came up with the three other flavors. We came up with the cinnamon, the coffee and the rum and raisins. Natasha acknowledged that the assistance received from the MSME Loan Grant Initiative expanded her business with the equipment needed to get into the supermarkets. Well, with the MSME Grant, I got a fridge, a fridge and a freezer. I got an AC from them because when you're doing something cool, like things like ice cream, cheesecake, and those things, you need to have AC in the place that you are doing the cheesecake. I also get some, um, some blenders and some other items to be able to things like little um, containers where I can be able to put the things in and to mix the cheesecake to be able to bottle it to put inside of the freezer. By accident I tasted C-pop and it's the sugar contents being a diabetic the sugar content is not high and the flavor is rich it doesn't stay on your stomach it has a very flavorful taste so I would advise anybody as a reader and who like who loves a snack to support it I love sea pops. I mean, especially when I need a snack just uh, on a hot day. I just come and grab a sea pop at the supermarket and uh, it's very, very nice, very convenient. I can use one hand and enjoy this. So trust me. Every big dream starts small. The Ministry of Commerce will host several initiatives to promote MSME Day 2024, including public service announcements featuring local MSMEs site visits to agro-processing plants by school students, and product sampling activities. Marvin St. Louis, reporting from the Ministry of Commerce.